All right, we're going to hose this baby down a little bit. We're going to get this scout washed up a little bit so you can see how bad the body really is on it and the floorboards. I'm going to wash it out. All right, it's January 11th. I just washed the scout off. I cleaned it up real good. We're gonna walk around it, look at the rust again. Um, it's had some fancy repair done to it before. So we're gonna go do it again. Spend a little time on cleaning it up and let's check her out. All right, we're gonna look at the rears. She's pretty rusty up around here. It's gonna take a lot of, probably do a serious bondo there, but look down here, it looks like somebody already did a little bit of work. They got a little foam down in there. Looks like I worked on this thing before. So basically probably what they did before is they probably filled this in with foam or something to back it and puttied it in. Which, that's alright. I think that'll be good. You know, this ain't no showpiece. This is just going to be an old scout roo Floors, a little rust back here. Hmm. Pretty good chunks there. Over here, same way. Uh, they had something in there. Not too bad. I'll probably try to either weld something behind this, cut this out, right, like in there, cut it out, whoo, and then weld something or put something behind there and just bondo it up. So pretty much there, there, there. It's going to have a little weight, a little, little, little bondo on it, but it is what it is. You know, I'm doing it for 500 bucks. It's going to be, it's already cruising. I moved my gas tank up front in the front seat. This here is a pretty good little hole. You know, it. I've seen a lot worse. The other one I did was a lot worse. This one's going to come out pretty good. Seems like it runs pretty good. I'm going to leave it sit out here for a while and dry out and put her back in the garage and start playing around with some body work and see how it goes. All right, I got the first wave of Bondo on here. A little bit down there. Got the rocker started. I got that big hole filled in. I got the feathers filled in on this side. The other side is going to be a little tricky because this whole panel is not very straight. If you look down, it kind of waves at you. But I got her bondoed in here. Bondoed down there. Started up here. All right. We're going to keep bondoing. And see what happens. This big dent right here. I tried beating it out a little bit. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to fill it to get it kind of look close. Um, this is definitely not going to be a show outfit. It's going to be a two or three year old runner is what it's going to be. We're going to bring her back. Here, you're going to go for a cruise? You're going to sit in there? The dog's ready to go for a little hot rod and he's all ready to go. Check out and see if we can get some birds. Well, I've been working on the floor. I I took some pretty heavy gauge metal and I molded it in there. A couple of license plates just to give it a floor. I'm going to probably, probably bondle this whole area all the way back. And then I'll probably get it nice and smooth and I'll just probably put some rubberized coating on there or some of that, not rhino line, I think it's that, you know, that it's rubber. You shoot on there and I'll shoot it on there. It's kind of like a bed liner. I'll shoot this all black and then I'll probably come back and paint it and it'll, it'll look pretty good. That's where it's at right now. Almost have it back together. Um, this is going to be a working rig. Probably a hunting rig. Just a messing around rig. So, you know, I just don't want to be able to see the ground when I'm driving. It's not. I'm not that particular. Um, probably going to end up having a gallon of putty in this thing. That's about the most putty I've ever put in anything. But it is what it is. 500 bucks. We're going to get her going. I'm under here looking at the front differential of the scout and ooh, that's gross that's 80 90 weight looks more like ugh, foam i don't know what the heck i'm gonna let that drain out i'm gonna check that out what's that i know we got this 
seal leaking over here and it must be making it milky and that does not look good i wonder if it's over full or if it just got air in it or that is not looking good inside the pan must be some water or something in there or i'm gonna let that drain overnight put some fresh 80 90 in it and see if that does something different because it's kind of interesting it looks like sludge sewer and all Huh. Quite interesting. All right, I'm out here in the garage and I'm painting the wheels and tires. I got five of these white spoke rims. They look pretty good. They're not perfect, but they fit on this Scout. And this one here is probably the worst. But we're going to doll them up a little bit, put some serious paint on them. <coughs> See if I can find two more 39, 50, 15 tires like this, which is almost impossible. Um, this is where we're at right now with the wheels and tires. Um, this will look good, all black. All right, we got the old Scout outside. She's running up pretty good. Got the Bondo work started on it. Like the first phase of Bondo, cab corners. Around the fenders, remember there's that big hole there. It's no longer there. Um, this side's a little rougher. I got her started in. I put some steel on the floor. I bonded it up, bonded there. She's coming along pretty nice. Um, quite a few more hours of sanding, sanding, rebondoing. But we're gonna get her. We're gonna get her. She seems to run pretty smooth. Got the front end off already. I'm gonna tape some stuff up. Maybe work on the wheels and tires. I don't know. She's definitely a project. I add a little weight to her, about a gallon of mud in her right now, so, and I'm not done yet, so. She's definitely gonna be a work truck, not a show truck.